Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for today's Monday Mystery Reveal, um, I've got a set, I've got to be completely honest, I've got a set of figures in here uh, that I'm very pleased to be adding to my collection. So if you're new to the channel, instead of me just opening this up and saying this is what I've got, what I like to do is invite you to take part in a bit of a game where you get to guess what they are with me giving you some clues. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. In this case, it's a, it's a bit difficult as well. Um, but yeah, if you do get it, of course, please don't write what they are in the comments. Just write the time that you got it or if you've got the set yourself or, you know, I think some people usually write, I want to get one of them and then I used to have to reply where I, where I got this from. But actually, no surprise, I got this from eBay, to be fair. Uh, this is something that there's a couple of these on eBay right now. Um, and I'd had one of these in my watch list for ages. And I have no idea. Well, I had a few of them, to be fair. And, you know, so I say this all the time. Sometimes people just want a quick sale um, because I got this for a third of the price of what the other two or three of them are on the um, actually there for now. And that's probably why they're still there because they haven't sold. So what is in here? This is some Japanese exclusive figures, but they are not generation one. And funnily enough, they do not use the generation one mold. Uh, so uh, that's I think you pretty much are going to guess um, who it's by. It, it is an official Transformers product. Um, it is Japanese. So if it's special edition, then that does mean that they will be. Um, something like an e-hobby figure perhaps uh they also were called i think they were called them transformers united which in japan was their sort of take on what was known as generations in the rest of the world so yes definitely in fact one of the molds was definitely used in generations one of the molds was definitely used in i think it was reveal the shield it could be that one um, and the other one, funny enough, was in the classics. And the reason why I brought this is funny enough for the mold use of the of the classics figure. But yes, in Japan, they were definitely called Transformers United. Um, and that was just, as I say, just their toy line. And what that meant is they usually did exactly that. They had some of the Generations figures. And in most cases, in just the, the standard normal releases of the figures, they had superior paint apps. But this is a special set of three um, and they changed them all completely. So if you watch this channel for quite a bit, um, the last biggest massive clue I can give you with regards to this is I did. I was lucky enough to get the Decepticon set of this a couple of weeks ago. Um, and then lo and behold, I've managed to find the Autobot set as well. And the reason why these are so so when I want them, um, I mean, I suppose they're sought after. They're not super sought after because there's quite a few of them on eBay. But it's because they do crazy things like this. They, they do translucent figures and Japan loves translucent figures. E-Hobby loves translucent figures. And it is the Autobot set. And as I say, these have been opened. They have been used. But if you've never seen this, wait till you see this hot rod. Um, look at that. That is beautiful. So yeah, so that was the Reveal the Shield Retgar, was it? Maybe? Or Scrap Heap was at least maybe one of them. That's Generations Cup. And that is, of course, the Classics mould for Hot Rod or Rodimus, as he was called, um, in the Classics toy line as well. So it's mainly for him. I can't, I'm going to do individual videos on them all anyway. Uh, but if you have got this set already, then you're very lucky because it's amazing. If you haven't, again, they're on eBay right now. It's the E-Hobby Transformers United Autobot set. Uh, there's quite a few of them on there. And if you, if you guessed, thank you for playing along. Otherwise, as always, guys, take care and you'll see the reviews very soon.